Alright, so what we have here is a 92A1 Beretta. Factory springs in it still. This is a Lyman trigger pull gauge. I'm going to do some trigger pulls, switch it out for a D spring, do some trigger pulls, see what we end up with. So that's just as a snap cap there. No, no live ammo, right? So just so we can see here, this is uh, fresh. And a buddy of mine works for Toyota. He uh, does the calibration there. Oh, I guess I should have turned it on. Uh, he does the calibration there, so I know that this is uh, going to read proper. And you see that reached 10 pounds, 12 ounces. 16 ounces in a pound, 10 and 3 quarter a pound pull. Try that again. It's very sensitive to the light weight. Okay, that's 10 pounds, 5 ounces. Ten pound, ten ounces. So you you can see we're not quite hitting uh, ten and a half pounds as average, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn this off. I'm gonna quickly rip this apart. All right. So I got her all switched out. Here's the old spring. The D spring's in there now. Took me a little bit of figuring out, but I got her. No scratches, nothing. So here's the new trigger pull on the single full pull. Got nine pounds, two ounces. So it's not even nine and a quarter. Nine pounds flat. Eight and three quarter. So I mean, I think maybe with, you know, some break-in period. Because I probably only pulled the trigger five times before you guys saw this. Didn't want to waste too much time here, but... Eight and three-quarter. And she broke. So that nine might be me. It might really be eight and three-quarter. But anyway, as you can see, the D-spring really did lower it. 